why don't we tell everybody who you are because you haven't been on the channel in quite some time. That's true. So it's been about five years. Yeah, dude, you, you were one of my our, first uh, like builders I toured. Early on, for sure, I feel honored. So I'm Ryan, I started Atlas Vans, nor, uh, previously Humble Handcraft. We swapped to Atlas to be a little more, more official in the van game. Anyhow, we, we've, uh, we've been building vans the last six years. And we're here finishing up a good event here at the uh, Arizona Expo. Now, everybody is leaving. This is pretty much the end of the expo for everybody to understand. Ryan has stuck around a little bit later, so. Adventure Van Expo. And we're here in um, Scottsdale. It's beautiful. Scottsdale's yeah, lovely. Pretty epic. Atlas Vans, uh, you went, like you said, you did, uh, I don't know how many vans as Humble Handcraft, but now you're doing Atlas Vans. You went through some changes recently with Atlas. Yeah, well, we, we, we've just kind of been weathering a little bit of a, a slowdown in, in the overall industry, I think. Things are still good. We've got a couple builds underway. Um, we've got a new shop that we're building, but we've moved out of our, our Quonset Hut location. I love uh, that look. By the way, I love that old shop. Man. I know. I'm gonna it looked like an airport it, hangar. Yeah. Yeah. So if you look back in the other tours that Jared did way back when, that was in our old facility and we're, we're currently building a new one. So, so cool. Yeah. So we're stoked. This is uh, one of our latest spec van builds that are up for sale. I was about to say, man, all the information is actually right there. You recently dropped price, which I am praying you to stop dropping price because it's worth more than what you're asking. Yeah, retail on a van like this uh, is, is, is typically about 325 yep. um, with the van, but we've dropped it down because it's a spec build and you know we got to call a lot of the shots so that expedited some things. So I'm, well, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm happy to drop it down to a reasonable level for some people, but it's uh, top quality. We're super stoked on it. Um, it's been a really fun project for us. We got to push the boundaries on a lot of things aesthetically, but also functionality wise. The material choices, I mean, you'll see they're, they're not, you know, the usual, but I think pretty fun. We're going to get all into it. Let's step on in and uh, we'll talk about the outside at the end. You know, as I step in with you, do you mind uh, just sharing with the audience? you know, maybe what the make model chassis that this $300,000 van is, is going for. It's 2021. It's the four wheel drive 170 and it's the uh, gray blue. We've done our shower stall. We have the Scopima bench seat that converts into a bed. Well, talk to me about um, this. I don't even, uh, you see them actually pretty rarely. You, you picked up this Scopina is what you said? Scopima and it's from, uh, we got it from Benchmark. So they sell a, a kit, an install kit, which makes it easy for us builders, um, but it, it's specified for this location behind the swivel driver's seat. So when this folds out, you actually have a, a bed big enough for somebody that's about 6'3". So um, it, it lays flat, and because you have the swivel, that you can fit another human here is what you're saying? Exactly. But if I loosen it up, we could take this table off, and I can show you the actual underside of this particular bench oh oh, da we, oh damn we store the the 5k um victron quattro so that's the inverter so i mean it, it's a convenient spot i mean you could put a drawer there you can have some extra storage you put the massive 5000 watt inverter down there to free up space in the garage yeah to okay. keep our our system cabinet narrow so had we put the inverter back there we would have lost width on the, the free space in between those two cabinets. Oh, it's super smart. Yeah, and it's just kind of, you know, it's it's a bonus little spot that you can take advantage of when you need to. Interesting. Um, but yeah, easy to fold out and convert into a bed. Let's see it in action. Okay, so that goes away. It, it's it got to go all the way back until it backs out. Yep. And then it gives you just enough room where you can line this puppy up. And now it's flush. Wow. And then this bar lifts and drops. And do you want you to? Uh, do you want to? Do you want to lay down on there for me and show me? You want me to lay down? <laughs> if you want to, <laughs> I'll tell you. Let's see. So I'm five eleven. So I mean, technically, six three is a little tight. But, but it can work. It can work. Five eleven, definitely comfortable for a guy my size. I mean, hey, I'm I'm five eight, five nine. Let's call it what it is, five eight and I can fit in there very comfortably. Oh, you would be styling, for sure. I'd be styling, profiling. So, obviously we have a real bed in the back that's 
much more comfortable. But this is guest sleeping all day. This is guest sleeping, and you know it's it's pretty rad to have extra seat belts aside yep. from the two. So that's that's the main reason we got it. I know a lot of people kind of scoff at the prices and whatnot, but I really like when I talk to the builder because we can actually show the value on why something is going to cost as much as it costs and i you know just that seat alone is ridiculously expensive it's a, it's a high-end seat so of course it's going to be expensive most seats are are you know 2k plus so this seat with the function it has it's it's about a four i'd say it's about 4500 cool which air conditioner did you go with it's the 24 volt pneumatic Okay. Uh, we created our own little bezel cover for it. We replaced the the sheet metal one. We just like giving our own sort of um, custom touches on on things like that. The supper cabinet, you know, custom. Uh, we did bamboo with uh, the what is it? Nevum. I think it's Nevumar laminate. Okay. So, yeah, you don't see that a whole lot, but I wanted to explore that because i love the end grain of bamboo but i feel like the body of a cabinet being completely bamboo is i don't know it's just been done a lot so mm -hmm. I, I liked experimenting with the laminate color like blue and then we also did some paper stone that's eighth inch paper stone over core bamboo core for the doors um and then this is old growth redwood burl so definitely mixed it up in here there's it's a gray color. It flows tilt. though. It flows well. Thanks. And what's on the ceiling? We were talking about the, the nomadic cooling up there in a second ago, but what's the what's the ceiling wood? This is uh some redwood. It's, it's old redwood. Growth. Yep. So okay. it's it's reclaimed, refinished. We've got a bandsaw, planer, joiner. So we we mill all that in house, put a tongue and a groove on it. And um yeah, it, it ends up being just under a quarter inch. So it's it's fairly lightweight and it's pretty. I like redwood. It's pretty, it's very pretty. And then so your your table and your countertop, which we'll get to in a second, this is the the paper stone, the eighth inch paper stone with sandwich the bamboo out. Exactly. Assume. Okay. Yeah, so this is the bamboo solid core. And there's a process to doing that. We've got a vacuum bag where we do all that in house. So we we laminate it laminate it all and then we run it through our CNC. We'll cut it out, do our you know and engraving the paper stone engraves really well cool um but yeah same with the countertop so yeah inlaid dual dometic induction top so we've also done a little custom backsplash action with some curly old growth redwood over a quarter inch uh bamboo um old growth burl redwood lambed on uh solid core bamboo so all your drawers are bamboo bamboo drawers yep which is different than like a baltic birch although they're, they're kind of the same density is that right Similar, yeah. I'd say the bamboo is a little lighter um, in weight, so I like to use those for drawer boxes. But solid, like but solid, very yeah. solid, very strong, yeah, consistent. I mean, bamboo is an epic product. I, I definitely, I felt a little guilty laminating over such a nice material, but you get the end grain and you get all the, the nice kind of warm tone still from the bamboo. So you um, got your dual induction, obviously, plenty of cooking space, deep sink dishes. Yeah. Access to like the heater for the Rickson system. So there's forced air heating in here, the little vent. You just said Rickson. Yeah. So that means it's a hydronic system. It's a hydronic furnace. And then we have our custom routed um, slots for the radiant floor. We already said it's 100 degrees out. So it normally we'd be pumping the AC and not a heated floor system. Definitely not. Yeah. But this is a true four season. It is, yeah. So if, if we were in Colorado or something, we might be running it. Yeah, Since maybe at 9,000 feet, yeah. Yeah, not not today. No. So we're, we're running the Nomadic AC today. Um, but anyways, we got the Rickson heater, so that's a great system. We, love, we got the new controller um, for the touchscreen out with the old controller and with the, the new, thank goodness. Um, Before I talk to you about this shower, because I really love it, I just want to say I'm going to step back, right, Ryan? Okay. And... It actually, the space opens up so much because you didn't put an upper shelf right here. Yeah, and this it, is open for anybody, you know, who ends up buying this, um, they could do soft storage, something minimal. I would probably suggest staying not as deep as this cabinet because, yeah, you, it, it just you opens it, it up. It's man. open. It's so, so cool, man. It's nice. But, yeah, there's there's this cabinet for, for you know, tea. We've got the kettle in here you could pull out. And then this is the pantry. So you got a pantry pull oh, out. Oh, damn. 
Um, Look at you, man. Yeah, a bunch of drawers, man. I mean, like, you could, you could do all kinds of stuff, store all kinds of goodies. Um, dude, that actually slides really nice. So, so yeah, they so with these. I mean, it's it's touching. We we got to hold the lever up and set it in. Oh my bad, I didn't do that. You're, you're good. I, I've been doing it all day. Um, <laughs> but with this, this is also another cool feature. This is the toilet. So, in order to get into the bed, you Wait know, a minute. your toilet isn't in your shower. It's, it's it's in a drawer, bro. So, I mean, I needed a step. So I felt like it was a good idea to put some heavy guides and then you have the toilet here and you got this walkway. I mean, normally if you're, you're doing your business, nobody else is in here. So there's no harm, no foul, but it's- Wh Which it's, toilet did you go with? The Trilino. Oh yeah. Yeah. There I like it. It's, yeah. it's simple. It's like the smallest clean, compost. And it's nice looking. I mean, it can, the damn thing could be an ottoman for it. Like it could be a furniture piece if you, you wanted it to be. Right on. I mean, that's, uh, so the, the cap's not on there. No. So. I'm making a bamboo custom top for that. Okay. And then you'd be able to step on the toilet into bed. And, and the reason being uh, you need a step is is the bed's elevated for a mountain bike yeah. underneath. And we see it back there. We're going to get to the back uh, when we go around to the back. But you did not block it off. You made it as a pass-through for which reason? I just like access to that cubby. Okay. So having access to that cubby is nice, but also like... If the bike's not in there, you can go back there and like, you know, service the fuse or see what's going on. If there's an electrical issue, which we normally don't have, but having access easy without going out of the van to the back is, is handy, I think. But this could ultimately be um, closed off with yeah. some sort of soft um, insulative, what do you call it? Just a screen. Like a soft, yeah, almost like a, almost like a, like a bug screen. Yeah, yeah. yeah similar to window cover something like that I, I envision um but yeah the toilet tucks away this goes away you actually have a tp roll here oh wow zoom in on that baby right, right next to your toilet i mean obviously it makes and sense it got space for for other goodies there and then a nice fridge is that the isotherm so the isotherm 130 toaster oven here Oh, you it's want the air fryer? Yeah, it's the br is it, I can't say that word, the but breville. the breville, breville, uh, yeah. yeah I, I guess that's how you say it. Yeah, it's super nice. Love that thing. Upper cab, got the fan. Yeah, I got JL Audio aftermarket speakers. Nice. Um, so this thing's really banging when the sound's on. It's, it's it's a really nice system. And your system is your your house system. Your van system in here is separated than the than the van system right yeah like so we have a it's a it's two-way system so it's auto sensing so if you're driving the car play actually plays out of the same speakers no oh, wow. the upgraded audio system okay um and then once the van's off um it'll auto sense the uh the second head unit which is on the bottom of that that sprinter seat the passenger and you can play remotely with your bluetooth that's sick and it's all off of the the house batteries so you don't have to worry about draining the car battery and ending up dead somewhere and you know stuck because you're listening to some tunes i get you so we found a good system and and we've been doing it for the last i'd say four years tried and true so um this van has it so whoever ends up with this van is stoked with the audio and you said the the bed size was queen avi queen yeah adjusted queen or altered queen i altered guess you queen, could say yeah. um, 60 wide 70 some odd inches long yeah i'd say that's a good guess for sure it's wide enough for two definitely it's, dude it's huge it's it's a good size you know you could almost sleep this way but i had to fit this fridge yeah and this shower stall and the dinette seat there so it was a crunching of numbers but i uh i got the bed i think to a comfortable width well show me this uh awesome awesome probably one of the coolest showers i was messing around with that light so i'll dim it down so you gotta turn it on and then we dim it up so i made my own little push button switches i was kind of getting over the rv plastic amazon look made these and um i've got these dimmer modules that are in the back so they're 12 volt um controlling LED leds yeah and I, I thought this was actually like a epoxy and you were like no dude it looks like it could be it's it's aluminum um and it's powder coated um with a really cool um textured paint that that we've been using it's it's called earth it's it's a rad the, color. The paint is called earth. Yeah, it's very earthy, isn't it? Yeah, and, and it's actually got like a really cool texture to it. There's no sud scum that that I've ever had. Like I actually did this on the first spec band that we did. If anybody remembers, we 
we had the Jetta at the Adventure Van Expos like three years ago and, and we've been doing that color ever since. That's and so cool. So it has our stainless steel pan. It's um, our stall that fits in here. We have the angle on the back so we can bring the stall all the way up to the framing of the van to maximize the height. So somebody that's six foot three is in here taking a shower, which is, is, is a pretty cool feat that we accomplished. Um, we have our bifolding shower curtain that just snaps on and then there's there's magnets over here and that's so that all waterproof snaps. fabric or yeah on the inside oh, 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 oh and then it just bifolds back and out of the way so that's nice and easy you didn't want to go with like a like another like standard like a nautilus no i feel like it's a, it's it's noisy yeah um but i like i like this because I can shower and bump into it. Yeah. With my elbow, because it's it's tight this way. I'll put the camera in there, not to be weird, but. No, bring it in. So when you're showering, you can actually run into this soft wall. That's cool. And it's it's not obstructive. Like I feel like like a door would be, or I don't want to say any names, but Nautilus. <laughs> well, I already said it, so. <laughs> So yeah, that's the shower. We love it. I, I wouldn't go without a shower after experiencing our stalls. I mean, like it's they're just... really, really nicely done. You do... Thanks, man. It's hard to do that in a 144 Sprinter. However, we're in a 170 Sprinter, so we've well, got plenty done. of room. Um, it's a, I mean, these are this is really the best layout for a, a 170 Sprinter. So you kind of knocked this one out of the park, brother. Appreciate it, man. I mean, there's just so many like little nooks and crannies for storage. So anybody that has a lot of gear or clothes or just tchotchkes, you got plenty of space. I mean, in here it's it's looking empty, but obviously somebody that's been in the van and has the van would fill that up quick. I mean, I guess before we go outside, like I just want people, I want to reiterate like the, your fit and finish, your your carpentry skills are next level. I mean, it's it's Thanks, a brother. really really nice finish in here. Appreciate it. It took a lot of time to do that. That's why. It's a labor of love for you, so. Thanks for noticing, Jared. We, 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 we take pride in our work for sure, and it, it's no fun if you don't. I, I'm not the type of guy to cut corners, and like the guys that I've been teamed up for the last six years with, we all take pride in our work. So cool. Um, thanks for for that. And uh, that yeah, and then I, I mean, you obviously match your green fabric throughout, which is great because I saw some in the back too. Custom shades. And your custom too. shades, These yeah. Guys actually roll up there's there's a bug screen layer too oh cool so that magnets you could keep this up but if you want to roll them both you just take these up and these are the arctic turn windows oh, that was my next question thank um, you so i didn't want to use those white hard hard shades um yeah so we came up with our own custom one and this is a metal ring that we had fabbed up and powder coated so there's like a lot of minute um, details minute custom things that really um i think give value to the van so I'm, I'm i'm hoping we can find somebody that could appreciate that well let's step outside we can talk about the outside a little bit and get do it. Cool, we'll be cooler got it <laughs> actually there's one thing i didn't touch on before we go your flooring is a lot different than what like i see in everybody else's van like a vinyl plank is or even a vinyl floor like what what did you use this material is called two tech two a company uh, Perfect Fit actually now has it. Okay. Oh, shout out to Perfect Fit. We've been buying directly from Two Tech for years, but we now get it from Perfect Fit because they they stock most of the colors, but they also um, will pre-cut your floor. Whoa. So if it's a one si uh, 144 or 170 or even the extended, they'll just CNC cut Whoa. the floor to your to your van. There's tricks to it, but. Um, anybody got questions reach out but it is a no seam floor so you glue that thing down and it doesn't come up we we case all of our perimeter of our floors with paper stone so we're milling all that stuff down and um that's crazy yeah and it works well with the radiant floor heating works really well the cool. radiant so no issues there um it's really comfortable it's actually got like a comfort mat on the bottom so there's some squish to it what's this table going on out here this is our touch release drop down table so it's got the magnet to hold it up and then 
touch release that'll hold it while you're driving this finish so nice i know you talk about inside but it's just it's really nice the uh the laminate and the color i tried to i tried to pick a blue that matched the van right so like pretty good if you zoom out it's it's pretty damn close yeah it works good amp research step and then you got the black rhinos with the do you have the suspension upgrade yeah so we did the the big six i think it's the it's a 6k pack Yep, the 6000 uh, leaf pack from Agile. Okay. Um, we did the um, rip kit up front. Nice. And then, uh, yeah, the wheels and tires, like you mentioned. Um, and then uh, you got the owl rack on the back, but you got a, a bumper from one of, my, one of my faves. Yeah, backwards. Backwards. Uh, for the win, front and back. And they, they got all the sensors, you know, you got your rear lights, so when you're backing up, those light up. Yeah, that's and it's got the hitch so you can tow. It's just a it's a, a great all around bumper. And then you got the step too, which you just you don't get with the factory bumper. So. Obviously you got your, your water and your power. Exactly. Um, I love you to use the Aquar. Yeah, that cap just kind of, you know, makes it look a little nicer. It's so nice. So um, there's your output for your shower and then you got the hot and cold valve here we powder How coat many these people are using those man they're so nice i know they're they're super nice so we, we use those on all the builds we i mean the only valve that really we use is that idec but they don't only, they only make it in a chrome so yeah. we actually take all of these parts apart and and take it to our powder coat guy and, <laughs> and, and they paint them black for us um, like you said, it's very meticulous water, like minute detail. Yeah, we love it. So we fill the water tank there, and then the electrical system is all in here. Um, I've actually got a temperature controlled fan that will pull cold air through here and out there. So there's an output fan up front, and if it gets over 80 degrees, there's a relay on the Victron system, uh, the Serbo that will trigger that fan so it'll nice pull um, cool air and just and help this whole cabinet. Happy. Obviously you got a bunch of Victron components in there, but uh, yep. how many amp hours is that bad boy? 800. That's a lot. So there's 200 and then two 200 again for a total of 800. And it's nice when you're running an air conditioner or if you're, you know, you're off grid in the middle of nowhere, yeah. like here you'd be using up every amp hour. I'm sure in AC. Yeah. Arizona. Woo -woo. Um, so, and then we got the, you know, just, garage light and then all the s pod controls right off the back on. and keep that on i like my lighting dude <laughs> yeah okay we'll keep the light on for jared and then yeah s pod controls so we have an s pod controller up front okay two by the the victron controller but you can access the all the scene lights from here dump the gray water valve underbody light you got tank heaters so like the gray water tank can be heated from here so the gray water tank is exterior i presume then yeah okay yep so we mount we mount those underneath but if it's a four season van then we'll strap some electric uh heat blankets on yep. those and and um and that can be controlled from here or inside the the cab if it's you know if it's necessary but yeah we got the l track here cap the and the trim mounts, yeah. there's another one of these fork mounts by freedom coast that pivots forward so if i were to have two two bikes in here i would have that one and then you could slide this fork over and this handlebar would be in front of the cabinet so we intentionally set our cabinets forward for the the handlebars but then also there's a slot here for the bike tire to like fall into nice so there was some good fore forethought in that design well dude you know i you cover a crap ton obviously um there's more there's more i mean we got a whole roof we've got uh walkable merlin solar panels there's 450 really. watts up there and then we've got you know the starlink and there's a spot for the roam box so the starlink comes with it you know the the starlink doesn't come with it but it's starlink ready i should say so okay. like the mount is ready for you but you need your own dish and your own subscription so uh um, well, somebody dropping 295 on this should should be able to afford a, you know, a little bit of dish action. You would think so. You for would sure. hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Most definitely. All right. Um, yeah. So not much more excitement on the side here. I mean, you just got the gray water port, but then you've got the air compressor and your shore power connection, and then you have city water too. So if you're at a state park, you could hook up to water. Oh, cool. Geez, you thought of everything, huh? Tried to. Your, is that your bag? I see your logo on it, or is that just another atlas? That's just our badge over, what is that, the, the 
trash a -roo. Oh, Is that what it is? <laughs> Don't tell trash a -roo. But they make a sick bag, but it's even <laughs> sicker with the Atlas badge. I actually do love these bags because it's, it's a trash. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, it's a, it's a good I mean, exterior like, trash. You could stash any extra items in there, you sure. know, it's, it's just good catch all. Flare space flares we didn't even talk about, but they're there. They're there. Yeah, the flare space is, is, our, is our number one choice. Ryan, please give us another shout out where you, we can find you and, uh, you know, where you're located, etc. So we're in Ventura. Our website is atlasvans.com. Our Instagram is atlas underscore vans. And then, yeah, you can find our phone number and email on, on our, our uh, website. And feel free to reach out with any questions, custom build questions. Yeah, we're uh, stoked to help you out. All right, man. Thanks a lot, buddy. Yeah, happy to share. Thanks, All right, Jared. man. We're going to see you at the next show. Appreciate it, man. Later, dude. Take care.